we have to remember we are only 1% of the population. So to make this kind of progress is amazing. And I don't, I don't mean to get overly political because it's always difficult in a room, especially in an election year. I perform at a lot of Indian events and it's always difficult because we're not really sure which side we're on sometimes, right? I mean, with, with Democrats and Republicans, it's hard because we're minorities, so we should be Democrats. But we're rich, so we should be Republicans, right? <laughs> This is really a hard choice for us. It's very, very difficult for us. I mean, I think, in, I live in Los Angeles and we have a lot of liberals, we have a lot of Democrats, but we have a lot of Republicans, especially in Orange County. There are a lot of Indian Republicans. And I think it's because of the elephant, okay? <laughs> I think they see the elephant, they think they're Nishiji, okay. <laughs> I think that's what's happening, I really do, um, I really do. But I will say this, you know, I, I performed at uh, an HAF event, I think this was my second one, and I asked this man if I could borrow his story, because I think this is an important thing for perspective. I think that we always have to fight discrimination and intolerance and prejudice, but we have to be able to celebrate our achievements. So a lot of Indians on TV, a lot of Hindus, I mean our first Hindu in, in the US Congress, that's amazing. Uh, there are a lot, a lot of these things that we, are, that we should celebrate. And so, this man came up to me, an Indian gentleman, at uh, one of the events in Florida. And he told me, he said, you know, he came to this country uh, in 19... Uh, his dad came in 1955. Okay, 1955. I don't know how he slipped in before 1965, but he, he got here somehow. You know, we're going to build a wall, it's going to be a beautiful wall. Uh, I keep defaulting. I, keep, I never did this move until I've been watching so much Trump. I keep doing this, you know. I keep, uh, it's gonna be a beautiful wall. Believe me, believe me. It's gonna be, believe me. It's gonna be a beautiful wall. I get along beautifully with the Indians. Trust me. I, I, no one has a better relationship with the Indians than I do. Trust me. I do. I love it. Believe me. It's this. We gotta mention Trump, you got to, at least once. Uh, it's amazing, these, these Trump rallies are insane. You have all these people, mostly white people, not all, mostly white people, uh, who, because uh, I saw a thing called Hindus for Trump. That is actually an organization. <laughs> Maybe someone here's in it. I don't know what that means. Okay, I put up four of your arms if you are, but I would say, I would say this, no, it's, um, uh, Trump is, you know, a lot of these people at these rallies, or, you know, USA, 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 greatest country in the world, which I think it is. I do believe the USA is the greatest country in the world. I do believe that. It is. And, uh, but, but it's amazing. And then they wonder why people want to come to this country. You just said it's the greatest country in the world. Obviously they want to come to the, the advertising campaign is working. Stop saying it so loud and people don't want to come here. It's amazing, of course. They want to come here. You keep saying that. And we taunt Mexicans. I mean, I have so many Mexican friends. I live in Los Angeles. It used to be Mexico, so we're used to this, right? So, but this is, this is what we do as Americans. I mean, it is a great country, but we do some crazy things around the world, right? A lot of crazy things. We, and this is one of the craziest, right? We wonder why Mexicans want to come to this country. We put a state called New Mexico on the border. <laughs> If there were a new India in Pakistan, my parents would have tried to check it out. <laughs> so this man comes up to me in, uh, in Florida, and uh, he tells me, he goes, you know, hey, my father uh, came to this country in 1955, and this was in Alabama. Okay, this is in Alabama. I know, that's all you gotta say right there. It's Alabama. And, uh, in 1962, he goes, you know, I was seven years old. And my father takes us to this rodeo. This rodeo, I know. I don't know just, just tempting fate. I don't know what this guy's deal is. But the father takes him to a rodeo in Alabama. And there are two lines to get in. Not just for the men and for the bulls, but for the, uh, <laughs> that too. But, um, 
One for white people and one for black people. Because this is 1962, this is still segregation. I mean, this is how long ago it was. So Alabama, 1962, two lines. These two Indians walk in, okay? I mean, this father and his seven-year-old son, and they don't know which line to get in. And they can't really stand in the middle. It's not like an Indian buffet line. Okay? And the father, he asks one of the policemen, who of course is white, all right, he has to be white, and so he says to him, he goes, you know, which, which line do we get in, you know? And, you know, the, the cop is totally taken aback. I mean, he just has no idea what he's even looking at, okay? He just cannot comprehend. We thought we got rid of this tribe, but I don't know what he's doing. It reminds me of the old joke, it's the other kind of Indians, right? I mean, the, this, this guy is driving the wrong way down a one-way street, and he gets stopped by a cop, and the cop asks him, you know, this is a one-way street, did you not see the arrows? He goes, arrows? I didn't even see the Indians. <laughs> so, you know, after the policeman get, gets over his initial shock, you know, he just says, well, what are you? You know? Which, that question is still asked in 2016, so I don't know how much progress has really been made, right? But, uh, you know, he, he asked, what are you, and said, well, you know, we're, we're from India, you know? And he just, again, just cannot believe what he's seeing. And then he says, well, I don't know, and he turns to his colleague, and he asks, you know, and he says, you know, what line should they, what line should they get in? I mean, which, you know, where should they go? And his, his colleague, actually his boss, turns and he goes, I don't know, just pick whichever one, you know, whichever one's good, which is amazing, that's unbelievable, that, that is, I mean, I don't want to call it Indian privilege, but certainly a lot of minorities did not have it that good coming to this country, okay, <laughs> to be able to choose to get into the white line in 1962 in Alabama, we have to celebrate that kind of success, okay, that's pretty good. Hashtag brown lives matter, okay, that's what I'm trying to say.